Hi, uh, my name is Sanjay Mukhopadhyay. Uh, my wife, uh, Erica Darkstrader, and I um, are both pathologists, and we made this video to help people uh, figure out how to upload their PowerPoint presentations um, onto YouTube after turning the PowerPoint presentation into a video. And why we did that is because we we had several you know educational um, PowerPoint presentations that we wanted to share with people. Um, you know, with our own narrations added in, but we didn't want to do it with a cell phone. You know, we didn't want to just capture the screen of our laptop or desktop with a cell phone and then um, upload the cell phone video. That really loses, at least the, the visuals in our um, PowerPoint presentation lose some quality when we do that. So we wanted to upload a video directly from the PowerPoint presentation onto YouTube. So it would be, sh it would show with, with fidelity what we had intended to show on the original PowerPoint presentation. So we made this little how-to guide um, with all the steps involved in doing this. So step one is, before you even start um, trying to record it or making your PowerPoint presentation into a video, the first step is have your PowerPoint presentation ready. This might seem obvious, but you don't want to start fiddling with the um, process, um, you know, once you're started recording. So everything should be ready, your PowerPoint presentation should be ready to go, and your presentation should be either rehearsed or you should know what you want to say. That's step number one. So here's an example of a PowerPoint presentation I just put um, onto YouTube uh, earlier today, and I already had this ready to go. I knew there were only four slides and I was going to talk about them, so um, have your PowerPoint presentation ready. So the next step is to enable recording in PowerPoint. And the way to do that is to first go to File up in the left-hand corner, then click on Options. And uh, there's under Options uh, a, a selection called Customize Ribbon. So if you click on Customize Ribbon, um, some options will come up. And within that box is a little uh, tab called Recording. And if you check the box, um, then the recording tab will show up in the ribbon in PowerPoint. Yeah, I didn't even know that this thing actually existed on PowerPoint. Actually, Erica found out that this thing exists, and that's how we, we made our breakthrough here. But the, the point is that PowerPoint, the, the program itself, and we use Office, what, what um, Office version are we using? 2016. Office 2016, the PowerPoint that comes with that has this functionality, but you have to be able to add it. And so this process that we're telling you here, steps one, two, three, and four, is just the process to add the functionality for, uh, just to add the tab that enables you to uh, record PowerPoint presentations uh, in a PowerPoint file. So this is showing, when you click on Options in the File tab, this is the box that shows up. And the yellow arrow is pointing to Customize Ribbon. So that's what you want to click on. And then over uh, in the right-hand column, the orange arrow is pointing to that little recording box that I was telling you about. So, uh, you know, for us, it wasn't checked. So recording was not in the, um, in the ribbon that, you know, comes with the PowerPoint. Uh, so you have to check that box to enable that recording tab um, in the ribbon. And that's, this is what it looks like. So the, this black circle is highlighting, after you check that box, that recording tab shows up in the ribbon on the top of the screen. So for most people, the recording, this thing must not already be in their um, system, right? In On the PowerPoint program. Right. You must have to add it. Okay, I'll show you one more thing here um, uh, while we're talking. So now I have a cursor that I'm moving around, and I'm pretty sure you guys cannot see it. Now that's what a peculiarity of this recording uh, feature in PowerPoint is that if you use a regular cursor and you, you, you have a little white arrow that shows up to you, it does not show up in the recording. So what you need to do is go to the, to the bottom left of your screen while you are presenting. So I'm doing it now as we speak. So we go to the bottom left of the screen and you see this little pen icon. So left click it and then go to the thing that says laser pointer and left click it again. And once you do that, this little uh, glowy red thing shows up, and that's the laser pointer. And the laser pointer, interestingly, is visible when you're doing these uh, recorded PowerPoint presentations, and you should be able to see it. So here is the recording um, tab or, or icon. 
So always use the laser pointer when you're presenting with these kinds of presentations. Otherwise, people will not be able to see your, uh, your cursor. So now you're almost ready to record. So you want to go to the first slide in your PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, and I learned from experience that you should start here because if you're, for example, if your fourth or fifth slide is selected and you're expecting that it will start from the beginning, sometimes it won't. It will just start from the fourth slide in your presentation. That, that's something you don't want. So just to avoid that, click the first slide in your presentation and be ready to go um, um, at that point. So in my presentation, this was the first slide. So I had this one clicked and ready to go. So now in the ribbon at the top of the screen, you click on the recording tab and then click record slideshow. And this is what the, the, the recording tab looks like. Uh, the purple arrow is pointing to um, the recording tab. So you want to click on that. And then the yellow arrow is highlighting all of the options that show up underneath that tab. So what you want to click on is record slideshow in the upper left hand corner. So once you click record slideshow, does it um, automatically start? No, there's one more step, right? There's one more step before yeah. you go live. So don't worry. When you click this, it's not like you're going to start recording right away. There's one more step in between. So you click start recording and this box shows up next. So this box is, is we have magnified it to, to make it easier to read, but actually it's a smaller box. It will pop up and it'll say, uh, what do you want to record? So we want to record the slide and animation timings and narration ink and the laser pointer. Um, so that box pops up and once you click start recording in this box, at that point you are live. In fact, to, to, to um, record this presentation, we click that box and once that box was clicked, we, we started uh, talking. So that is your absolute start button. Once you do that, you go live. And it will record your voice as well as the PowerPoint slides that you're presenting. So you want to click that button and then start talking. Um, so your voice is being recorded, the, the slides are being recorded, but you are not being recorded yourself. So there's no video of you talking. It's just your PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, and just as um, a reminder that your cursor arrow will not be recorded, but if you turn it into a laser pointer, then it will show up on the presentation. So this little box in the upper left-hand corner is showing uh, what pops up when you start recording. So it's um, telling you how far you are into your presentation. Yeah, it's very helpful. I, I find it helpful because it just tells you, you know, whether you have been rambling a um, on for a long time and you need to speed it up or whether you're within time, you know, whether you're making good time. I think it's a very useful feature to have and you don't really have to select it. It just pops up automatically and it, and it gives you a sense of uh, timing in your PowerPoint presentation. So the next thing is when your slideshow is over, the recording automatically stops. And by, by that, what I mean is that as you're advancing your slide and you come to your last slide of your presentation, you know, whatever it is at the end, conclusion, summary, thank you. When you click the last, make your last click, the recording automatically stops. So you don't have to hit stop or say uh, end or anything. It just stops when your presentation stops. So that's a very nice feature. It just takes away the need to, to stop the recording manually um, and you're done. So the next step is after you have stopped and everything is over, you click export to video. And this is what it looks like. There's a little button up there that says export to video. This is the same um, ribbon that Erica showed you before that comes under the recording tab. So there you just click. Uh, before we had clicked record slideshow. And right now, once once the slideshow is done, you, you click export to video. This is what the box that uh, pops up looks like when you click export to video. So you want to click on create a video. And then under create a video, you can select the file size and quality of your presentation. So um, if you click on, on that um, arrow there, you'll get some options. And the options are, you know, you can save it at a very high, a very high quality or ultra high quality, but then the file size will be super high as well. In fact, mine, the first time I tried it, um, it was maybe a 27, 30 minute presentation and it was maybe 580 megabytes. I mean, it was a gigantic file. And when I tried to save it, 
it just took uh, you know many it, it it took many many minutes to save it was very painful to wait for it and then when i tried to upload it again it it took forever to do so i would recommend saving at the smallest file size possible which is the 640 by 480 file size if you do that you will virtually lose no quality at least no discernible quality that you can tell um, and it will save quickly it actually saves within minutes uh, if you have a reasonably small presentation and then it uploads pretty quickly as well so that's what i would recommend uh, the smallest file size possible and then you go to this um, uh, button which says create video and then you just click it and that um, creates your video uh, in an MPEG, um, MPEG-4 format. So now you're ready to save the file on your computer as an MPEG-4 file. So now you can log into your YouTube account and click on the upload button. This is what the upload um, button looks like, pointed out by the orange arrow right there. Yeah, so all you have to do is get in and click, click this button. And those of you who have already uploaded file, uh, you know, videos to YouTube, this is self-explanatory. But uh, I actually struggled with where to find the, you know, where to go to upload your file. They've made it pretty easy by making this little up arrow for the um, upload function. So now you are ready to select the video file that you just created from where you saved it on your computer and start uploading. And this is what it looks like. So once you cl click your file and, and upload it, um, YouTube shows you um, how much of it has uploaded. So this, that, this tab that says processing 91% uh, with the yellow arrow. So that uh, tab sh gives you a sense of how quickly your video is uploading. Again, if you keep a small file size, that will go fast. If you make it a big file size, this will take forever. Uh, of course, that depends on, to some extent on your um, internet connection speed as well. And then the, the orange arrow shows you where YouTube lets you put in the title for your presentation and you want to make a nice catchy title for that. So for this video, for example, we might say um, how to upload your presentation to YouTube. And then you can put a little description here. Actually, it gives you a lot, quite a lot of text that you can you can describe your video and and give the reader some background. And the red arrow at the bottom shows you tags, so you can put small little tags. Like for my lung presentation videos, I say lung, pulmonary, interstitial, and so forth. For a presentation like this, I might say how to upload PowerPoint, YouTube, etc. Just small things that help people. Um, sort of keywords that help people find your video when they're searching for it later on. So once this gets to uh, the processing thing gets to 100%, you're done. And all you have to do is click publish and you're done with your YouTube video posting. Congratulations. The video version of your PowerPoint presentation is now on YouTube. Yeah, so all you have to do to to um, see to prove that you have been successful is just go onto the main YouTube page and search for your presentation in the in the search tab. Just type in your title and it should show up just with with all the other zillions of YouTube videos that are in there and it's open to the public and uh, you you've been successful in uploading your PowerPoint. So I hope uh, you guys learned how to do this and enjoyed the presentation. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.